later, hon. Can I just have your water? Since you're not going to take it. Hello, hello, everybody. Here we go. Let me just... I am back. It's been a while. But we are... I mean, when I say a while, I mean stream. Uh, it's been a while since I've streamed. So, uh, we are here. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, you can call me Saitama, you can call me Dad, you can call me Phil G. Those are the- just Phil. You don't have to call me Phil G. G is the last name. But, uh, yeah, you can- you can do any of the three. I'm cool with any of them. Yo, thank you. I love you too, Fresh. I love you too. Alright, so, in this stream, we're just gonna go over, like, tips and tricks in both PvP, PvE, and co-op. Uh, co-op being PvE. Uh, the reason why is because I know there's a lot of newer players that are part of my channel now. Um, I know there's veteran players too, so if they're veterans, then the only thing that really might apply is PvP. Hello, Roar. How you doing? What does the G stand for? It's my last name, uh, Fresh. I missed you too, Roar. I missed you too. <laughs> Either way, yeah, we're gonna go over it. So I think the first thing's first. This is my partner's account. So this is Emily's account. So let's do a quick tour of that. And the reason why I say I, I'm pointing out that this is Emily's account and not my own is because Emily's is entirely free to play. Which, as you all know, it means that no money has been spent. Zero. Nada. Nothing. Alright. <clears throat> so let's go over to teams, just to get an idea. So this is just, um, I think, Zenkai Awaken teams. Alright, so let's let's take a look and let's see. Because if you're if you look at the stars, if you look at all the things on this team... They don't look free to play, right? It doesn't look free to play at all. Exactly. Exactly. It doesn't look. But see, that's that's the beauty of this game. If you focus on one or two teams, you can make your team look not free to play. You can make your team look like it's a whale. Exactly. And that's the beauty of this game. If you're trying to get every character, so here's my first tip if you're free to play. If you're free to play and you want to do a little bit better on PvP, don't go into every banner you see. Don't go into every banner you see. That, that's the biggest thing I can say. Because, like, I mean, look at this girls team or the whims team. It It's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. It looks scary. And um, Brawler asks, can I use a free to, can I use a free to play team uh, on this account? No. And I'll, I'll explain why. So, every single team on this account is free to play. It's because all we've been putting into our Chrono Crystals in is two teams. Androids and females. That's it. That's it. That's all we've done. Nothing else. Why? Because if you want to do well, you need to have at least one or two teams that are really buffed, really stacked, and allow you to play in the meta. I don't go for units I don't need. Exactly. Fresh. That's exactly how you should be playing the game. If you are playing this competitively. Or even semi-competitively. If you're casual, don't worry about this. This is not for you in that case. In that case, if you're collecting only and nothing else, then you don't have to worry about Zankai's. You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to worry about is finding banners that have the most units that you don't have for your buck. That's it. Hello, DA. How you doing? <clears throat> So, uh, it, let's go actually into the character list because this will give you a better idea of how this is actually a free-to-play team, a uh, free-to-play account, and less so, you know, like money-wise. So if we go, if we take a look, yeah, there's a lot of high stars right now, but as we go further down, already you're seeing that the stars are dropping drastically. Not only that, but as you go down further, we have like things like Jiren at two stars. We have, we have a lot of like really older units, right? With the exception of, like, some of the newer banners. There's the Trunks, but he's only at two stars. All of a sudden, if I want to, let's say, make a future team. If I want to make a future team, for example. Uh, l let me just grab a future team. Here's a future team. Look how many little stars it has in comparison to the girls and androids. It looks more free to play. It looks more like an actual team that hasn't been buffed beyond crazy. And that's, that's what I'm trying to say, right? When you fight someone in PvP now, you don't know if they're a whale or not. Because at this point, if they're a veteran player or at least semi, 
intermediate to the game, they have at least everyone minimum at seven stars or plus. Meaning that this entire game at this point is played from seven stars and beyond and not less. Uh, if I were to go over to hybrids, take a look at this. It's pretty low. And I'm, I mean, this, this account hasn't even like buffed up Goten and Trunks properly. Right? All right. So that, that's pretty much what I'm trying to show. I'm just trying to show you guys that even though I have, we have two teams for Emily here that are like highly buffed. Yes. Emily mains female warriors as well as androids. Yes. Um, so the, the inclusion of, of, uh, Android 21 good was helpful because at the, at, for a time she wasn't maining androids because she didn't have Zenkai 16 because who's going to go into that. So let's go over some quick PVP, uh, tips and tricks. Uh, we'll, we'll play on her account. It's fine. We'll use females. We won't be using androids. So we're going to have access to launch and other things like that. Um, but yeah. If you want to see a free-to-play team for PvP, I, I'm going to currently build one on my main account. And the reason why I say I don't want to play any free-to-play teams on my on any account right now is because I haven't finished with it. Because free-to-play teams on, on Legends takes a while. So let's just let's just get one game in or two. Hello, Abraham. How you doing? We're just going to play. Now let me just raise the volume for myself. I, I can barely hear. So if you guys don't know, I'm very auditory. So I, I rely on sound because I should be wearing my glasses and I'm not. Alrighty. Oh, wow. They just went straight into it. They didn't even wait. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so when I'm looking at my opponent's team, I'm deciding what is actually terrifying to me and what isn't. Because they have a green, it doesn't actually matter. Huh. Huh, and I'm not scared of yellows. So I can just play as usual. Got it. I'm fantastic, Abraham. Thank you for asking. Yo, <laughs> UV, how you doing? I see you there. I see you there. <laughs> Fair enough, Fresh. Alright, let, let's... Alright, so the first tip that I would say is... Okay, okay. I like to wait and like just really like test out the waters. So I'm don't worry about taking damage. <laughs> I I still need to warm up. So let's let's okay. They're gonna they're not gonna switch. Okay. Now they're gonna switch. Makes sense. Oh, I messed up, of course. Nope. Nope. Ooh, wow. They took it? No. So the first thing's first. If you see a card animation, what you're going to want to do for sure... <laughs> oh my god, I'm just getting wiped out. It's hard to talk. I think I'm going to talk right after this to give you guys a better idea of like what you're actually supposed to do in this situation. Okay, there we go. Whoop. That's a sidestep. I'll take that. Nice. If I have to lose anyone, it's going to be the 21 good. Because I don't think I'm going to... Yeah. It's got to be her. It's got to be her. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, what? But I didn't tap. Oh, no. Oh no! I didn't think I tapped. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. I could lose this now. And I didn't dodge. Oh wow. Yikes. Yikes. I'm playing horribly. Give me a moment, guys. I, I really need to like warm up, it seems. All right. I'm gonna wait till they actually. Yep, yeah, there we go. Now switch. Don't worry. It will take me a little bit, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Wait, 
Wait, what? I didn't even... Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. I... I didn't do a tap, and it tapped me. I tried to do a sidestep. And then I got caught with the green card, and then I died. Yeah, I lost. Alright. That was bad. That was horrible. So, first tip, don't play like that. <laughs> but second, no, but in all honesty, uh, don't play on a, on phones that you're not comfortable with. This is not a phone I'm comfortable with. I, I play on this phone. It's smaller and feels much better in my hands. It's definitely the stream. My stream is definitely lagging, most likely. Uh, but no, but let, let's take a look. I'm doing good. I'm out here doing some projects for work. Just thought I'd stop by and say what's up. It's been a while. Yes, it has. UV, thanks for asking. Uh, let's see. If I focus on future Vegeta family and Godkey, because at this point, those are the three basically the same tag. Exactly. Yo, Jaren, how you doing? Epic Legend, I do remember you. How you doing? All right, I got to pay attention. I actually got to play. All right. One, two, three. Let's go. Yeah, I know, Fresh. I know. <laughs> Yo, Epic Legend, this is the free-to-play account. This isn't even my main account. So I, I really need to start playing better. Let's... Since you did a sidestep, I'll just... Kill... Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, no, this is a bot. This is definitely a bot. I refuse to believe that this isn't a bot. This is a bot. Yep. I'll just switch. I'm... Oh, awesome. If it's better now, perfect. Oh, that didn't kill. I refuse to believe this isn't a bot. I refuse. But, no wait, this isn't a bot. Holy shoot. No bot does three blasts in a row. No bot does that. That's not a bot. This is a real person. Wait a second, what? Why? Why are you like this? This is an actual person! I'm mesmerized! Oh, I sidestepped out. You know, I'm gonna switch. This is... I'm, I've am i been playing really badly. Okay, here we go. Will this stay in? Okay. Yeah, it's a real person, which is... Oh, wow, I... I messed up. Okay, 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 okay. Yo, wait a second. No. No! <laughs> and then they forfeit the match. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. I... Okay, uh, next tip. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't play triple cell team with... An EX, EX, and a SP. Um, there are better teams out there like Androids. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, some tips that I would definitely say is learn single taps. So single taps is basically where when you dodge, you do only one tap on your screen. See if you've connected with them. And if you have, then do the full tap. Takes a lot of time to practice that. But if you haven't done any of that, you know, we'll see. Any unit predictions for 1k days? No unit predictions at all. Yeah, that was not a bot. That was not a bot. That was a real person. I... I w I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Don't be that person playing triple cell. Especially if you're not going to play, like, better cells. I mean, the only cell that, that, that they used that was decent was the red one. Yeah, single taps, yeah, exactly. So you're going to really want to practice single taps. Maybe I should have brought in my regular account. No drip. All right, it's... So this person feels like either they've been playing for a while or they haven't been focusing on actually buffing their teams. Is Super Saiyan Blue Sh Shallot coming this week? I'm not sure. I don't keep up with that type of news right now. Uh, Let me just see. 
They don't have a purple. All right, so they don't have a purple. Do you know what this means? One, two. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Kefla? No blue. We're not bringing in a blue. We're gonna bring in Kefla. <laughs> 18 and 21. So is the new story mode gonna come out? At some point, Abraham, yes. Uh, but right now, I don't know. Yes, this is the free-to-play account. So, uh, I, I, as I was saying at the beginning of the stream, when you're doing, when you are doing any sort of, uh, like, competitive or even semi-competitive gaming on this, on this game, focus on two teams max. If you're spending on teams that you, on characters you don't need because your teams are not, are all scattered, you won't have the stars necessary to play. You need at least seven stars on most of your characters in order to actually fare well and be allowed to make mistakes. In this game, the more this, the more mistakes you're allowed to make, the better the chances you have to win. I'm not saying that you should be making mistakes. I'm saying that if you do happen to make a mistake, being able to not get punished for it is really good. Oh, I sidestepped too early. All right, I'll take that. Oh, wait, really? You're going to do that? Okay, I'm just going to stay in then. All right. We're gonna go straight in, and then we're gonna lose. <laughs> we're gonna we're, no, we're gonna go right out. That that was dumb. Blue. I messed up. Nope. No no no. And I messed up. That's bad. <laughs> okay, if they're gonna rising rush, they're getting Kafla. Yep. I messed up so bad. Blast. There, let's go. Yeah, so Kafla is not very defensive. She has, like, no defense whatsoever. So, so just be aware of that. Okay. And then no switch, please. Just stay in there. Please, thank you and good night. The one one guy is down. Let's go. KO. There we go. That's a sidestep. Don't sidestep on me. Goodbye bye. All right. Goodbye, Kafla. That's all I needed. That was a perfect vanish, and I messed it up. So we're gonna wait. Okay. They're gonna tackle, so we're just gonna go straight in. And we're just gonna finish it off. No rising. No need for it. Let's just finish it off. Why are you picking Blast against a strike focused team? Listen. Listen. I don't know. Sometimes I just play for the playing. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That Kefla is doing a lot off. Yeah, yeah. I used to spend CC on all the banners, but now I'm focused on getting hybrid Vegeta or movie Zankai's. Currently, there is no Zankai I won't or can afford, but let's wait later on for a good Zankai. Yeah, so yeah. Um, usually what I like to do is I like to take a look at what are the general... So actually, here's another tip. Let's go back to characters just for a second, okay? Because I think that's very important. So find a character that is good, but that you love. Look at their tags. So, Android 18 is part of androids and females. So, we figured, alright, since it's androids and females, we're going to focus primarily on females. But, we're also going to, you know, by proxy, work on, like, at least some characters that are also androids. So, for example, when this guy came out, yeah, we went for him. So he's seven stars, right? Not the most amazing amount of stars, but he it's its solid. And then any girls that also will more or less be androids also just fit on a team. And that's how you decide what teams you're going to make. If you're going to make Vegeta family, for example, then in that case, obviously you're going to want trunks. So you might consider maybe uh, putting some effort into hybrids. But right now, hybrids are ve is very much more sun family slash... Vegeta family because of the Trunks slash the Gohans. So that one's a little bit harder. But because you're doing, uh, for example, Vegeta family, you have more chances to do stuff like movies. 
So that's also there. So if you didn't want to go the hybrids route, you could go the movies route. And that allows you to make some sort of like two teams that are solid that you can actually play in the meta and have stars to actually compete. Can I do a whole Zankai team? With all the buffs, you can easily cut <laughs> Well, I could do a whole Zankai team, but there's a problem with that. So for example, if I were to actually go and do a whole Zankai team, but this is the free to play account. So I'm actually not sure if I can. Uh, let me just, let me, let me just see if I, if, what I can do with a full Zankai. Cause I don't actually know. So let's, let, assuming that, yeah, this is the free to play account. So I'm not sure if we have Zankais really on this account. No, we don't. I'd have to go onto my main account to do that. Like this is, this is unfortunately what we have here. If you guys don't know, this is Emily's account. This is my partner's account. Uh, she's got a ton of characters that she has not soul boosted at all. Uh, and, or leveled up. So there's tons down here. Yep. So yeah, it's, it's I, I wouldn't, I would say no. Yeah, you should get characters that buff, buff at least multiple tags. That's what I would say. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty simple like that. If you want to play even remotely competitively, you really need to focus on only a couple of teams. Two teams, three teams max. Focus on any more. You're more so a casual player and you're more collecting. All right. I'm also going to be bringing out a Z power level guide. So how to max out your stars a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently. So if you want, uh, stay tuned for that. That's coming out later today on YouTube on as a regular video. So I'll just, so that way you guys can rewatch it and blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. But as for a full gameplay with Zankai's, I will be streaming again this Wednesday. So if you guys want to see my regular account with like full Zankai teams or other things like that, I'll happily do that for you. But that will be on the other account because that is not a free to play account. That one is my main account. It's the account that I normally use for YouTube. Although sometimes I even use Emily's account for YouTube just to prove a point when we have people saying, but that's not free to play. And I'm just like, but it is because zero money was spent for that. But yeah, no, it, it, regardless, like, it's just, it's just nice to have a second account. Run a rival universe team. On my other account, sure. <laughs> okay, there you go, that Goku Black. Fair enough. Yeah, Veg honestly, Vegito Blue isn't that scary. He's, he's, he's a solid tier one character, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, just it's not necessarily the best. And yeah, uh... Let's actually run Androids. I just I just want you guys to see what it's like when you play Androids versus playing uh, Goral. And the reason for it is just because I feel actually more comfortable with uh, with females. But Androids is a solid team too, so just keep that in mind. Don't I don't even have Kid Ku at Z7 or Max. Fair enough, Jaren. Fair enough. Axo, hello, hello. Yep, Epic Legend, yes. Uh, I, I, I know that feel. Right now, Emily is currently grinding uh, that Trunks to Z7, and the reason for it is that that Z7 Trunks is the best free-to-play unit in the game in regards to PvE. So not PvP, but PvE content. And that's a 7-star Vegito Blue. Okay, cool. Um, Let's see. What do I want to... How do I want to deal with this? I need one, two, three. So we're actually going to go this. So androids has flexibility, unlike female warriors, which is why it's always nice to have this flexibility. Axo says again, fair enough. Back in the day it was so fun and satisfying to summon, but it's like I can't even summon anymore. I might get shafted. Better get it. Yep, exactly. So listen. Yeah, I, I know, understand how a lot of people feel, but I'd rather put my CC at this point in on into like units that I know I'll be guaranteed to have versus like just, you know, shaft. There we go. Thank you. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yes, you definitely have to grind his Zenkai tickets if you have not done so already.
Nope. Let's go. That's a sidestep. I heard it. I heard it. Don't sidestep on me, boy. Don't sidestep on me. Ooh. Wow. I hate when it does that. That's the worst. That's the worst. When you when you go in for the yeah, that's that's called laggy connection. That's laggy connexione. We're gonna go into this, yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoa, really? Wait, what? Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Not like I cared to Rising Rush in any shape, way, or form. Oof, I love that lag. It's my favorite. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that PV. Perfect vanish. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Okay, we're gonna do that. Ouch. That's a sidestep. Goodbye. Goodbye. No. That's a sidestep. Let's go! Thank you. No! I messed up. Oh, I didn't! Okay, yeah, it's over. I got him to Z3 as a free-to-play before they revamped the system. There you go. Yep. Uh, yeah, actually, I, surprisingly, I'm actually going to be talking about that, uh, that, uh, Evil 21, because her strike attack damage is actually pretty insane. Also, No Drip says thank you very much. Okay, I'll respond back with, uh, you truly love fighting, don't you? And good game back. You can have a good game back. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Yo, sounds good, Abraham. That sounds good. Yeah, so what I would suggest, if you guys want to grind... So let's actually go to co-op right now. Let's go to co-op right now. So when you're grinding, let's say, this this Trunks right here. Best character to use, ironically, is the Trunks you need. <laughs> so yeah, just use them if you, if you don't have them. Um, if you can, 14 stars the character. 14 star maximum. Uh, use the, the boost units though. As many boost units as you own, put them on a team and grind the event. If you're not grinding the event with boost units, what are you doing? Don't do that. Uh, before they revamped those free to play EX stories, it was at least guaranteed a free Z1 or 2 when completing everything. Yes, Epic Legends completely right. Uh, Big Fatty. Let's join Big Fatty in their conquest to Z Z1 their trunks. <laughs> 
Yo, sounds good, Ultra Instinct Goku. You stepped on no drags. <laughs> you made him with girls. <laughs> I guess, I guess. Let's play. Yeah, I would definitely say if you're gonna grind anything, grind the trunks. Another thing. One big tip that I would have to say for uh, for co-op, if you guys didn't know, it's best if you can alternate. Alternate your attacks with your teammate. Not all go in at spam at once. Also, if they take a hit, get them out of there. Move them. See that, that exclamation mark? If you have, if they have like those timer count, obviously can't move them, but if the timer count isn't there, move them out of there, please. Oh wait, I should have paid attention. Um, but because you get extra link bonus damage and the higher your link bonus, the better the damage you do, period. Okay, we're gonna do this and get a blue card in there. We're just gonna keep going. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I don't believe in you. No, I'm not clicking the rising. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. When you say put boost units on the team for co-op, just, so just put as many go-ons on the team as you can. So do super rising, exactly. Uh, if you, let's say, don't get the super rising rush, please don't just disconnect. You actually have a chance to uh, kill them within two rising rushes. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Okay, let's... Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, click your rising, click my rising, and let's just have a ball of a time. Let's go blast. <laughs> if you think this guy, this trunks is broken, you should see like some of the better trunks. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We'll still kill him. We'll kill him. It's fine. One health. Let's go strike. And strike. That's over. Yeah, it's over. Exactly. So Axo's got a great tip. If your opponent uh, is getting rising rushed and you can push them out of the way, do that and then dodge. If you can't, then obviously, then, you know. Usually it's customary, guys. So another thing that I would strongly urge everyone to know is that let's say someone is getting rising rush. Let's say your teammate is getting rising rush. Hopefully they pick strike. And as the person that is not getting rising rush, pick blast for them. Uh, so the more people that know to do that, the more chances you have to just play the game naturally and to counter the AI because they generally pick strike or blast. So just keep that in mind. There will be occasions where they'll pick blue or green and that will be weird. But for the most part, that's a great idea. If I use the OG yellow Gohan with that trunks, it'll be great. Sure, I'll play with uh, Vegito Blue. <clears throat> yes, it was Epic Legend. And I, I did the same during that time too. Honestly, I think that uh, Legend's Trunks, by far, is one of the best PvE units we've gotten. Um, I wouldn't say he's great in PvP. He's not bad, don't get me wrong. He can still be played, but he's not as good as when he was around Anniversary. So just keep that in mind. But Trunks as a uh, event unit is just absolutely broken. So keep that in mind. If you are, you know, struggling with certain challenges, this is probably the easiest unit to use. Uh, obviously he still needs like some helpful uh, buffs from other Death Crisis units to do as well as you'd want him to do, but he's overall a great unit. Just phenomenal, and I, I love him as a result. Mirror, does everybody always use Vegito Blue? Well, a lot of people sometimes like to use LF uh, moves, which I don't like, because it wastes time in an event like uh, co-op. It really wastes time, and I don't like wasting time. I really don't. Oh no, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Uh, and don't don't do that. Wait a couple of seconds just to see what your teammate's gonna do. Just wait a couple of seconds. If they're doing nothing, then click the rising rush. I mean, it's fine right now because I can just I can just do this 
and then just do that. So it's not too bad, but it's just annoying. It's actually frustrating when I see that, because it's just like, we could have done a we could have done a double, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Oh no! Please don't. Thank you. Thank you. Don't. Yeah. Thank. Thank goodness this person did not just choose to LF right there. That would have been a pain to watch an extra thirty seconds. Random gamer says, "I want LF Broly, Vegeta, and Gohan." I want LF Broly too, my guy. I don't have him. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. LF Broly will come back one day, and I'll pull him then. As for uh, Vegeta and Gohan, which ones? All of them? Because <laughs> if that's the case, then you really want to focus on a movie team. Yeah. Personally, uh, still, the best unit for this co-op is... Trunks, you don't even need to get a double perfect, like a, a perfect rising rush. All you need to do is each pick one different card. Uh, double RR. He'll go down, even if he's got his uh, buff to si to cut damage. As in like this Android 17. So two Trunks that are Z, that are Zankai are fantastic. This is also fine. I want LF Broly too. Listen, I want LF Broly just because I like LF, I like Broly. Like the new Broly, not not the old one. I don't like the old Broly. I like the new one, so. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on those. Okay, let's go. Ka-chow. Yeet. All right. All right, see, see what I'm doing? I'm letting my teammate and me are going back and forth in terms of damage. That's actually important because it will greatly increase our overall damage right after we break them. And then the damage that we deal is going to be much bigger and better than before. Okay, I'm going to take the damage. Okay. I'm going to knock them out of the way. Or, no, I won't. I won't do anything. I won't do anything. I'm going to get a blue card in there. And then I'm going to click a blue. And then I'm going to click a green. To just buff myself up a little bit. And then I'm going to wait for a rising. There we go. I'm going to rising myself. And then I'm going to pick um, strike. Because I want to be the one to use the blue card. So by the way, if you're going second, whatever's in the middle of your three cards that you pick... That is the card that you're going to be launching. So if you're launching, if you want to launch the blue card, so be aware that, like, pay attention to what your team is, your teammates using. If your teammates using the better unit, give them the blue card. If you're using the better unit, you use the blue card. Pay attention to that when you're playing co-op. Because that r greatly helps both you and your teammate. Also, my chair went down, I think. And, uh, no, it didn't. I'm just short in general. Got it. <clears throat> Zephyr, hello. How how you doing? How to win Android 17 co-op. Step one, take Zenkai Legends Rose Trunk. Step two, win. Exactly. <laughs> uh, random gamer, we've had a uh, LF. We've had a uh, sparking Yamcha and uh, what you call it? Launch. This launch and Yamcha is exactly why. I, I Emily plays the like plays games like these. It's only because of the females. Without the females, it wouldn't have been interested interesting at all. Yeah, and then I know Emily also went into Last Standing Hope for 21, and no other reason. She did manage to pull Future Gohan though, but you know she didn't want him at all. And then oh, let's do at least one of those tickets. I'm fantastic, Zephyr. Thanks for asking. Alright, let's just skip because it doesn't matter. It's not like a regular summon. Alright, not bad, not bad. We'll slowly get to Z6. And then... Nothing of interest right there. Alrighty. So we're just going to grab the missions real quick. Our Cardinal 81 says me in regards to the baseball Yamcha. Oh, baseball Yamcha. 
A meme from the start, yet a beautiful meme. He needs a Zenkai. <laughs> you know, you know what team actually needs a Zenkai? Like, just a full-on free-to-play Zenkai? All the Yamchas. All the easy Yamchas to get. Not not the good ones, like the green, the new green one that came out. Not him. He doesn't need a Zenkai. Everyone else. The Hero Yamcha. The EX Yamcha. Baseball Yamcha. E Zenkai them. All of them. GT. Ugh. Don't get me started. GT gets the shaft. GT gets the shaft. It's 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 kind of like when you go to your grandparents' place for Christmas and they, they get you a sweater. And you go, thanks. But then it gets even worse. At least their sweater is cool. Then you go back home. Your parents get you a sweater. But it says, best daughter ever. But you're a cat. That's basically what happens. Have you ever bought the premium version of the mission plans? No, I have never. I don't plan to ever. <laughs> Hello, Lewis. How you doing? I, I have no shade on anyone that wants to. It's definitely a cheaper route to get CC than uh, paying actual like money for like a massive load of CC. It's cheaper overall. But, it, you know, it's like one of those things. You got to decide what's what's it for you. I agree with that, Goku Black. All right, sounds good, Roar. <clears throat> the buff females in Dragon Ball Saga. I've been thinking about this for a week. What's your opinion? Abraham. All right, so in regards to Ariel, because for those of you that don't know, she's a basically a... I can't remember. Was it a cyborg, android, or robot? Regardless, she's basically another creation of Toriyama's, for those of you that don't know. And she's basically a meme character, so she's on par with the likes of Goku. And she beat the ever-living poop out of Vegeta. And, uh... <laughs> Again, she's a gag character. But I don't think that they should bring her to Dragon Ball Legends. Only because if they do, I'm just worried that we're gonna go... I mean... <sighs> she's not part of the franchise in any shape, way, or form officially. Because at that point, you could, like, argue that we need to bring in other characters that have done crossovers with Dragon Ball. And that would be, like, Toriko. Toriko. Or, or uh, the characters from One Piece, like Luffy. And I don't know how far I'm willing to do crossovers. If it stays within its own, its own universe, sure. But beyond that, I feel like it steps a little too personally out of a boundary. But, uh, again, they can do whatever they want, realistically. So if they wanted to, and they had the rights to do it, then in that case, go for it. I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying, realistically, it just kind of opens up some potential, you know, money problems, like licensing, because everything is a licensing thing when it comes to gaming. Cyborg, there we go. Oh, I, I read her be like before Super. So, yeah, a lot of people only know her because of Super, but... He was that was a character he wrote before Dragon Ball, actually. So there you go. I want Dragon Ball Super, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes and Legends. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> really, cost she's not a Dragon Ball character, she's a Toriyama creation, but she would still be considered a crossover. For example, uh, Android 21 is a crossover despite being a fighter's character, so a Dragon Ball franchise character. But she is fighters, therefore she's considered a crossover character. So the same thing would apply here. Just because it's made by the same guy doesn't make it not a crossover, considering she is not really part of the universe in the same way that you would normally have characters cross over into a universe. She'd have to. Cr she kind of has to cross over, right? So that's the thing. Keep in mind. While you were gone, I found a team I really like. Which team, Zephyr? All right, let, let me just play another uh, rank. Here we go. Do you think Piccolo and Kid Trunks and Goten are like stepping stool for Goku and Vegeta? What do you or Vegeta? What do you think? I don't think they're a stepping stool as much as I feel like Toriyama just didn't know what to write for them, and they kind of feel like they're just there. So. Like, Piccolo had a great story originally, and then it kind of dropped. And then we had the issue... 
And then we had the issue with Kid Trunks and Goten just being there. Like, they had their whole shining moment in the Majin Buu saga, but then it was quickly short-lived, and then it got basically messed over. And it's interesting like that. Oh, this now feels like females. <laughs> but it's interesting like that because it's just like... Well, let's be real. The Majin Buu saga arc in Dragon Ball Z was really, really poorly written. No offense to those that love it. I, I like the arc too, but we have to we have to accept the fact that sometimes... Oh, wow, I messed that up. Um, that sometimes some stories, despite your love and nostalgia for it, it's not that good. We're gonna... We're gonna... No, no, we're not gonna eat that. No, thanks. I don't feel like eating it. We're gonna punch you out. Okay. Okay. You're irritating me. Oh, wow. I messed up. And... Yep. Okay, so if they go for a rising, the first character we're gonna lose is the 21. We're gonna lose the 21 if we lose a character. Okay. I me Oh, I didn't mess up. Okay, cool. Nope. I'm just waiting. There we go. We're gonna have to go. Okay, so. That's why the single tap is very important. Okay, yeah, yeah. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay. And then we switch. Now we switch, because we get the defensive buffs, we get a whole bunch of other things, let's do it. <clears throat> do you mean the Go Tanks event, or Go Ten? Because I don't remember a Go Ten event ever being there. Nope, there we go, I've learnt. I've learnt! I have learnt your ways! I will wait you out now. That's a sidestep, and I messed that up. Oh, wow. Why did I rising rush? Okay. Okay. Alright, it's fine. I'll just keep it. 18's blue card seems so weak, yellow yet does so much damage. I know, but uh, one thing that I, I gotta say is that if hers was a charge blue instead of a blue that it was, it would have done so much more damage. I'm actually glad they... She's kind of balanced out by the fact that she's a projectile. A projectile. Uh, whatchamacallit. Blue card. Oof! That's a freebie. That's called free. That's called... F yeah, that, that's, a, that's a freebie. Um, there we go. I'll save that for Emily. She's collecting Android 18 forfeit picks. Might as well, you know, take one. Uh, yeah, no, that one came real quick and then disappeared. So luckily, they're going to bring it back, guys. Which is why I didn't actually push him beyond Z7 and then 9 stars. Because I know they're going to bring him back, so I'm not really too big of in a rush to, like, get him to 14. On top of that, he's okay. Uh, he's a good Z7 unit for what he is. He's probably the best, gr one of the best greens that fusions have. It's just fusions right now, not in the best spot. They're not bad, but they're not in the greatest of spots. They're, they're, their only good tank is Z7 Gogeta, the red one. Can I do a challenge on this account? Yeah, absolutely, I can do one. If you want to see me do a challenge, we can definitely do a challenge. Oh, auto select team. Yeah, we could do that. I, I could see what this game wants to provide us. It would be interesting. All right. Uh, senpai free to play. Same. This account is free to play too. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? All right. Um. What do I want? I'm not afraid of purple. I'm not afraid of red. Honestly, yellow 18 can go right through Gogeta. So do I actually need the blue? Don't really need the blue. Huh. But I feel like they are going to bring in Kafla. 
And I hate Kafla. Not because I hate her, just because she's difficult to deal with sometimes. It's okay. We'll just we'll work through it. Auto selected girls team. <laughs> All right, Zenkai team will be back in Legends. Yes, she will come back. She is the most disgusting yellow unit in the game currently. The most disgusting. Like her damage is insane. Um, auto select, but you can only use the bottom three units. Ooh. We'll see how that works. We'll see it, what what team we get, and depending on the team we get, I might decide to do it. All right. Oh wait. Whoops. That 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 worked. You sidestep. No, you didn't sidestep. And I I messed this up real bad. Okay, I'll just keep taking it. It's not worth switching out. I'm surprised they went into this unit. All right. I did not get any cards. Did I get my uh, effect nullified? It's very possible. I messed up. I messed up real bad. Alright, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna take the damage. Yeah. Okay. Locked in. No. And I messed up. <clears throat> yep. And yep, gone. Okay, so his green card is useless against this. Uh... There we go. Ooh, yes. Kachow. Rising Russia. Blow card. <laughs> Hello, Merge Zamasa. How you doing? Okay. Oh, no. No! <laughs> okay, if they rising rush, I'm letting Cell go. Because I don't think I'm going to get 21 in time. Actually, I'm still going to throw in Cell right now. <laughs> it's fine. No! 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 Goodbye. No. Oh, I want it. No. This is going to hurt. Okay. Get the healing in. No. That's cool, but no. And we're going to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Cell says no. Cell says no. Cell says no. Oh. Yo, I love you too, UV. Thank you so much for being here, okay? And take care of yourself, okay? Alright, let's auto-select the team because that's what the people want. Alright. Uh, auto-select characters, auto-select equipment. Let's go! Yes!
bottom three characters. So we are using Hit, EX Broly, and Android 21 Good. Surprisingly, I'm gonna say it, it's not the greatest team, but it's actually not bad. We actually have a way to dodge. And on top of that, we have, I would say, very good damage dealing units. The only problem with the team is it has uh, little to no synergy and the color counter isn't appropriate. But otherwise, it's not bad. I, I don't hate it. Let's go. Do you think the hybrid team is meta? Uh, yeah, it's meta. It's definitely meta. It's definitely good. Uh, is it the highest, uh, like, meta team on the tier, on the list? No, it's not. It's just, it depends on who are the players, who are the people grinding, and what are they really after and interested in. So we're gonna... Nope, that's a too slow situation. Okay, that's fine. Punch you out. Punch you out. No. Ouch. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Dropped combo. Nope. Not this time, boy. Now no switching, and you're gone. <clears throat> Thank you. Nope. Keep it going. Get that in there. Okay, that's gonna suck. Oh, rising. No, 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 no. Hit. Hit's taking the hit. No. <clears throat> Let hit die. Let hit die. We're not, we're not letting uh, 21 die. No, 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 no way. No way. Uh-uh. Thank you. Okay, here we go. He's gonna heal up. That's really irritating. He's gonna heal up again. That's also really irritating. Ah, uh, that's gonna suck. No. We're gonna... I think we're gonna lose. Unless we can destroy this Trunks with uh, Broly, we, we lost. Because we need to save the Rising Rush for uh, Rosé. We have no choice. And I couldn't... Yeah, that was a perfect vanish. Yeah, we're just gonna forfeit. We're gonna forfeit that one. <clears throat> yeah, no. Unfortunately, uh, team wasn't great. And I played horribly at the end. So that was a, that was a very good ex example as to why we don't auto. <laughs> but I want to try the team one more time. I'll use the bottom three again. Uh, but this is exactly why Zankai's are kind of annoying, especially when there's a Zankai boost. Because, yeah, none of these none of these girls actually Zankai boost 21. Good. Because you need the same color. So, actually, in fact, the bottom characters buff the top characters better than the top characters buff the bottom characters. It's unfortunate. But that's how it is. So, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Merge Zamasu. How you doing? Hello, Dragon. Uh, do I play on her mate's account to rank her up? Yes. Uh, sometimes she'll play. It all depends. Uh, we mainly just try to get her to battle rank 40 minimum, and that's it. And the reason for it is very simple. We want that 100Z power level. That's it. That's all we're looking for. That's all we're looking for. But things to note when playing PvP. Have... 
as high stars and high powered units as you can. Uh, focus on particular teams only. Uh, learn how to do charge step and side steps. I can make videos on that too. Learn how to do single taps. They're very important in this game. Nope. We're going to break you. I don't like you. You can stop. I messed up. Yep. Lag. Cool. And apparently I'm slower. <laughs> Yikes. No. No. My turn, please. Okay, knock you out. Oh, shoot. He's gonna see me. And, yeah. No. One more. Which... No. And apparently I was slow on that. That's unfortunate. And oh wow, so laggy. Yikes. Okay. Nope. Okay, don't switch. Okay. That's really irritating that Rosé is here. Nope, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, yeah, too slow. Thank you, goodbye. I messed up. We're gonna rising rush right here and say no. And then all strike. Uh, no, Pops. I'm just taking a break right now. Oh, that's a sidestep. I see it. I see it. Let's just end it with the Broly. There we go. That's better. That's better. Good job, Bowley. Good job. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad. It's not awful this team. But it's not great. The auto select is definitely not what you want to use. So yeah. That's how I feel. Can we 1v1? Not right now. If you guys want to 1v1 me, you can go on my Discord, join my Discord, uh get to the DBL channel in my Discord, so there's an actual separate channel just for that, and then from there you can at me, and then if I'm there, I'll, you know, I'll accept your request, or I'll deny it because, you know, maybe I'm working, because I know I have a lot of work, but right now I've got a lot of work that I want to do, so we're gonna do that for now. Uh, Random Gamer says, I wish that Legends had more modes to play. Yeah, I, I agree. I wish that we had more event modes, maybe a tournament mode, but for, like, PvE tournament modes. I think a PvP tournament mode would be maybe a little too toxic, personally. So kind of like what Dokkan does for tournament modes, that would be fantastic. I would like that. Um, obviously, they're going to bring on those Guild Wars where you fight the PvE versions of the opponent's team. I like that idea, too. That's actually great. So, yeah. Alrighty. I could play... Uh, I kind of want to see how Emily's future team stacks up, but I don't think that they're fully soul boosted. Oh, that one's fully soul boosted. Okay. That's fully soul boosted. Is this fully soul boosted? It is. Okay. Okay. Are you fully soul boosted? Did a new PvP mode come? No, no, no. No new PvP. Yeah, let's play, let's play Future for one round. Just for one round. Just I don't know how good I am with Future anymore. I haven't played Future in a while. Do you think Zenkai broke Legends or helped Legends? Um, 
it's a mixed bag. Honestly, it's a mixed bag. I, I it's it would be it would be really really dumb of me to say it broke it, but it, it wouldn't. It's not far to say that it definitely changed the scope of how the game is played. On one hand, if you're a uh, person that's looking to be competitive, this is a great game to start the concept of competitive because if you focused on one or two teams, your team is going to look like a whale's team. So a whale has no advantage at that point over you. So Zankai is in that essence has really stabilized the game, especially their new version of Zankai's where they're a lot easier to get and farm. On the other hand, it destabilized the game because it makes summoning on units not very relevant. And when a game is all about gacha and summoning, and it becomes somewhat irrelevant, it hurts the game's collection, like the collector's side of things, and the just general experience of the game. On the other hand, I do appreciate the fact that we do have, like, units that we can just grab, and that will be good right off the bat. So that's nice. And we're playing against a... Z7 Gogeta. That's going to be dangerous. Okay. Cool. Yikes. Yikerinos. Um, that's going to be the team. When is Ultimate Battle coming back? No idea. Honestly, we, I won't. I won't really know. Let's see how we do. Okay, okay. Okay. I messed up. Fantastic. And I messed up. And I couldn't dodge. Yikes! This is so bad. <laughs> Let's go. Blue. That's fine. We want to get that main ability anyways in there. And I'll get that green card in there. Do I think dark characters will come out? Hard to say. That's a sidestep. That's a sidestep. I'm gonna take that. Let's get that ult in there. They're gonna switch? That's okay. I don't think dark characters are a smart idea to bring into this game. I really don't think, considering how much... Okay. Waiting on them. Nope, blue. Here we go. Bye-bye. Oh, I messed up. That's fine. Messed up, but we didn't get punished for it. That's nice. I messed up again. Didn't get punished for it. We're gonna rising right here. We're gonna go with the one strike arts card. I would like Giblet to be character, but I think that Giblet needs to be a light character. It cannot be a dark character. Guys, if we bring in dark characters, you basically force a meta where literally they're good against every single character you come up against let's go let's go get rid of all their buffs deal the damage i feel bad for the z3 i uh, no z7 actually Team, they, they just got murdered. <laughs> but yeah, if they're going to bring out dark characters, they need to bring out more light characters. But then after that, we have a light and dark meta. And that becomes a problem.
Because then in that case, those characters have to be significantly weaker just inherently in order to play. But let's just take a look at that person's team. What was their stars? Three, seven, seven, Z7. All right. It wasn't that much different from our own. The only thing they had was a Zenkai. But that's not so bad. I like this gameplay. Yo, Claudes, how you doing? <laughs> I see you there in the chat. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy, like, it's nice. It's nice. It's chill. No Zenkais. It makes me happy. Will my Dragon Ball Legends lag less if I lower the graphics? Uh, I, I hard to say, but you will play a lot worse. So don't, I, w wait, the graphics are the resolution. Because if you're if you if you go on high res, you'll the ability to play is a lot easier and a lot better than if you go on low res. Like I ever since I've done the difference, I've been able to improve my gameplay. So don't switch the res. That's what I would definitely say for sure. Gold 33 k is Android's Android team has yellow. Uh I'm gonna have to deal with the fact that I have nothing to deal with their blue. Because let's be real. This Gohan, although decent, not the greatest. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, do, 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 do. Would they bring in their green? They might. They might actually do it. If they do that, then in that case, that same team, same team. Yeah, Zaha would be a pretty cool character for them to bring, and I would like Zaha to be free to play. They should definitely bring any character that's an original character within this game to be free to play. They should never make us have to summon for them. If it's resolution, keep the resolution high res. I messed up. We're going to take the punishment. No, 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 no. Ooh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to farm dragon balls. We're just going to farm Dragon Balls. That's really all we're after because they have their defense. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. No. Okay. And let's get that. Green card in there, and then yeet him. Yeet her. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Ah, now we have a bot. Now it's a bot. Nicely done. Rising Rush, here we go. I'm going to have to report this person. <laughs> Abraham, just one thing. If you lower your graphics, you're actually going to struggle. A little bit more. Alright, that's a perfect vanish. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to test it. Yep, it's a bot. It's a bot. It's a bot. I can now play like a bot. <laughs> All right. We're going to do this then? Yeah. Because it's going to die, come back. So if it's a bot, just drift. You can just drift all of a sudden. It doesn't even matter anymore. We're going to LF finish a bot. Okay. Yeah, so right now they're playing a bot version of myself as well. So the DC was very apparent there. So we're going to have to report them. It's possible that they're not cheating, but I'm going to I'm going to report them anyways because they need to fix their connection. They really do. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Zephyr, it, uh, let people know if they want to 1v1 me to join my Discord. That's the only way they're going to be able to 1v1 me on YouTube.
So Zephyr, just let them know Discord is the is the place to. Uh, if you get that question again, just let them know they can ask on Discord, but they have to be in the DB Legends uh, channel for that. All right. What other team can I play on this account? Because there's not many teams. This this account is not very good in terms of like just overall teams. Could play fusions, I guess. <clears throat> I could. <laughs> Actually, what GT do we have here? Oof, playing the GT. One, two. Oh, we have Omega. Oh! <laughs> we have the newer units. I just... Oh, okay. Ugh, new units. Pfft, who needs that? Am I right? I'm right. I'm totally right. New units. Pfft, not worth it. Um... Oh, no, 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 Wait, wait, wait. On auto-select characters. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Another place to pl uh, to fight me if you guys want to fight, actually, Twitch. Twitch, I'm willing to fight people because I've got an entire queue system. I've got a whole bunch of other things we can do. Yeah, we're going to play with GT for a little bit. EX Kid Koo. I could have. Actually, maybe I should have. That would have been a great health buff now that I think about it. You're right, Roar. I am dumb. I forgot that I could at least have him as a health buffer. No, I I know Roar. You you got that EX Kid coup uh, from me. I, I I explained it that he was good. Hmm. A purple. Ah, it's Goku Black. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna go one, two, three. Let's do it. I know Roar. I know. I know. All right, let's do GT, because GT is a team that I haven't used in a while. I'm really bad with GT. I know when they first came out and I was using Sin Shenron, and when they had the 14-star, uh, like, thing going on, I hadn't dropped a single game with that team, because Sin Shenron, when he first came out, and when that, when that whole PvP event was for 14 stars for everyone, oh my god, Sin just never died. It was actually insane. So. You started to grind equipments? Yo, Zephyr, good idea, good idea. Uh, so another thing. Once you've got the whole the stars down and also all of your, um, your units, like your actual solid team, that's when you really, really want to start working on equipments. All right. Wait. Oh, that's a sidestep. Let's get him the blue! That's fine. Okay. They still do actual decent damage. Oh, I messed up. Nope. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Nope. 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 And goodbye. <coughs> Yo, Roar! So everything is kind of, wait, so Roar, everything is kind of like fixed? You guys, you guys got over the whole fight thing? I hope that's the case. I really hope that's the case, Roar. I'm happy for you. Just, you know, just chill and just have fun. Just have fun with the fact that you guys are, you know, at least over a hurdle. And you have like some sort of idea of where you want to go with each other. Eventually. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, then who is it? Who is it? Is this someone new? Is this someone new? Oh, wait, is this a giant star team? 
Wait, oh, it's, oh, it's rivals. Why don't they have their Chompa buffed? Okay, tip of advice, everyone. See that Chompa over there? Don't sleep on this Chompa. This Chompa good. Don't sleep on the Chompa. That's a bad idea. Never sleep on Chompa. Chompa is scary. You, you get scared of Chompa. Oh, it's not Deku. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, no, do not put uh, Dragon Ball Legends on light resolution. That's like a recipe for disaster. Do not do that. Just don't do it. Don't hurt yourself. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna be a tanky team. We're gonna be tanky. Uh, so Jaden, uh, yeah, Shallot Blue will come out eventually. Eventually, he will have to come out. Just I don't know when. I don't know when. All right. Oh, I messed up. I messed up so bad. I messed up so bad. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. My turn. Oh. They dropped. They dropped. I, I, they, they didn't even drop. They. Ah. Uh, uh. Nope. Nope. Let's go. Blue. Ooh. Nice. Okay. I couldn't dodge. Switch over. Oh, wait. Why did I switch over? What's wrong with me? Yikes! Let's go with the rising. Let's go! Go strike. And we got called. Yikes! Nope. Let's go. Single tap into a dodge. Because I kind of figured they would immediately try to dodge. And rising rush. Come on, come on, come on. Let me switch. No! Blast. Let's go. Yeah, sounds good. Roar sounds good. Oh, no. Yeah, we lost. I messed up real bad. I'm gonna have to play like twice as good now just to. Yikes. Oh, GT. Punch you out. Okay. Wait, what? Why did I... Wait, why did I tap? Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's an automatic... Like, I just lost now. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I messed up. I'm just gonna forfeit right now. I messed up. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is this is the problem with playing old teams. They're bad <laughs> uh, Random gamer don't be caught up on the level. Uh, it's a good level. It's just it doesn't matter it, it, Your Z rank level doesn't matter Realistically, it's a big boy level, but it's it's a, a level that doesn't matter too much Unfortunately the game itself 
just has it just to give us rewards, even though the rewards are kind of minuscule, so. OGT. OGT. Let's go with fusions. But yeah. No, um... So I think a couple of things that I want this game to work out is its sensitivity to, to, to uh, the tap button, to the touch. Because sometimes you accidentally click on your screen and it forces a tap. And then you're like, but I didn't really mean to do that. And that kind of hurts. So it is what it is. Also, someone just followed me on Twitch. So I, I thank them for that. Uh, does Emily have a decent Vegeta fam team? I don't think so. And if she does, it's probably not decent only because she doesn't have a lot of units soul boosted to the max or at level 5,000. She really just focuses on female warriors and androids. That's it. All right. We're going to go with this one. That one. <clears throat> and this Gogeta because this Gogeta is pretty good. Yo, Douglas, I'm I'm glad that I helped you out. I hope that was an easier event because of the videos you watched. I really hope that's the case. <clears throat> oh, yeah, uh, yellow go tanks used to be broken. Now he's just... All right, all right, all right. Gonna do this. Ooh, you're gonna do with the little switch? <clears throat> Let's go with the green. Oh, special cover change. Goodbye. Keep it going. Okay. We're gonna drop. Exactly. Drop successful. <laughs> and then this uh, UI is just going to take lots of damage. Nope. Get rid of the UI. This is this is how it should have happened. This is this is canon now. Goodbye UI. You're dead. <clears throat> No need to switch, because we can just go right through. Kafla is that obnoxious. She just kind of goes through everything. She's just like, wait, you want it to play? And then we're going to Rising. Green. Here we go. This is why I don't like fusions. They're kind of broken. <laughs> At least if you're in the offensive. If you're on the offensive and they can't catch you ever... Then fusions can just pretty much go non-stop forever, which is dumb. But to be fair, they are definitely uh, not as good as they used to be because of their lack of defense. <laughs> so, yeah. LFM, okay. That <laughs> listen, listen. No need to LF someone when you're playing fusions. No need to LF anyone when you're playing fusions. The only thing you you LF are DCers and bots. Phil, I left my resolution high, lowered my graphics. My game is loading super fast and smooth. Good. Yes. Lowering the graphics is fine, but the resolution keep it high. Uh, fusions are broken. LF you have if you have Vegetos. Uh, even then, no. Actually, it's actually surprisingly better now to have Gogetas. Funny enough, actually. Because um, <clears throat> Z7 Gogeta plus LF Gogeta plus having access to the blue and the EX red Gogeta is actually superior to the Vegitos right now. And the only reason for that is because the, the Vegitos are completely carried by Vegito Blue. Completely carried. Whereas Gogeta at least has two Gogetas to work with. So. Oh yeah, VB when VB came out, fusions were just the dominant force in the game period 100 percent. agree with that true statement Ooh, you know what we can bring in super vegeto we can bring it super vegeto against astro cat the 
But yeah, right now the Gogetas reign supreme in fusions over Vegitos. Just in general. Oh, I didn't dodge. Oh, you're gonna go right into me? Alright, green card. Okay. I'll just wait. Nope! My turn! Oh, I dropped. I dropped. No. I dropped by accident. It won't happen again. Out of the way! And then give you a le blue! Goodbye. And then come back. Because you're not dead. Don't even joke with me. You're not even close to dead. No. Oh, I messed up. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I messed up. Ooh, I messed up real bad. I messed up real bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is going to hurt a lot now. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be worse. No. Let me give you the big suck. Let me give you the big ult. Okay, here we go. I want the cell gone. Can he die, please? Thank you. That's all I wanted. I messed up. That's gonna hurt me a lot. <laughs> yep. Oof. Messed up. Rising rush. Rough. That's rough. That's rough. Alright, blue. <clears throat> blue. Blue or green? Blue or green? Yellow. <laughs> Well, at least it was Super Vegito. No! No! Let's go! Goodbye! Okay. No! Kefla! Goodbye. Gogeta Blue is the best in the unit in the game? No. Uh, no, he is not. Uh, Planet Eater Moro? Not even close. Gogeta Blue is a... <sighs> definite good unit. But not the best, unfortunately. Uh, and then as for Roar, he is not even the... T I don't... I Wait, let me just think about this real quickly. Wait, who was the fourth? No, Gogeta Blue is not even the top five best units in the game. Not even close. He's not top five. He's in the top ten best yellows, but not even top five in considering, like, all units, let alone yellows. So, Gogeta Blue unfortunately suffers from the fact of low star drop rate, and even if he was buffed up, his defense is just bad. Sorry to say it, but he's just, he's not, can't, can't keep up. Yo, Lee, how you doing? Yes, it is me. Uh, we're going to do Twitch eventually, but right now I'm just chilling on my YouTube, getting myself back into the game because it's been a while. It really has. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do one more with fusions, and then I'm going to drop this team like it's hot because, uh, no, I don't like it. All right. You know what's a good free-to-play unit? That Nappa. EX Nappa. If you have EX Nappa as a free-to-play unit, use him, please. Just just use him. Especially if you want to just play completely free-to-play. E uh, Frieza Force, fantastic free-to-play team. I'm not saying it's the best team in the world, but if you're trying to just get to battle rank 40, perfect team for you. Trust me. Trust me on that at least. Uh, no purple. Interesting. That intrigues me. That interests me. Um, I don't like that LF Piccolo. So, we are going to 
bring in this Vegits, this Vegito. You need to upgrade him. Nappa not upgraded is like just not having a Z7. <laughs> Let's be real. It's more like a Z1. If if you if you haven't really upgraded them uh fully soul boosted, they're pretty much at Z1 level than if they were to be upgraded. Are, no. That's silly. Don't do that. That's silly. Let's do this. Let's give him the big suck. Oh, okay. Three. Punch him out. Okay, that's fine, but you already lost so much health. I messed up. Nope. My turn. Who are you bringing in? Ooh, Piccolo. That's a freebie. Goodbye. <clears throat> I messed up. Yep, I messed up. All right, all right. Oh, no. My child. My child, you're going to miss. That's a sidestep. No switching. Goodbye. Oh, no, not death. Okay. We're just gonna keep sidestepping. I'll sidestep with you. You sidestep. I'll just stop and I'll just uh, attack you. No offense. It's nothing personal. I just feel like you you want. Oh. Oh, nice, nicely done. Good job. All right. What do I say about Jiren? Well. Here's the problem with Jiren. He's a good unit. But again, uh, I'm, I can't remember if I put him in my top 10 best green units. He might be in the top 10, but he's on the low end. Very low end if he makes it. Also, did I just LF my opponent? Oh, I LF my opponent. I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, Jiren's been in that problem where he just doesn't have a fundamentally strong core team. In fact, actually, Jiren isn't even the recommended green for his team. That would go to Vados. That's the sad part. If, if you're really looking at, like, a team that I would make for rivals to make him good, I would be looking at, like, a team like Vados, Bergamo, and Topo. Topo has been just great overall. He's, his longevity def definitely lasted because of Vados. I, had, I hadn't considered for a while that Vados really makes Topo the tank that he is, and Bergamo just synergizes well with the rest of them. Jiren's great on the bench, and also to be brought in if you need a second green. But he's not good otherwise. In, in, a, in a meta where he's supposed to be good, just... <sighs> it's better off to destroy cards at this point than it is to actually cover change. In the traditional sense, so... It's one of those things. I like using Jiren in PvP. Yes, absolutely. If you like Jiren, keep using him. I'm just saying, optimally, I would be playing a team with Bergamo, Topo, and Vados. Because they tank. Two of them tank. One of them just consistently heals. And Vados is also like a pseudo tank. Plus, Topo can survive a rising rush. There's just a lot that the team can do. <laughs> Good job, uh, Zephyr. Yeah, it's sad because Dispo's a good unit, but... Dispo, honestly, doesn't feel like he should be on his team anymore. Uh, that goes to Bergamo. Having a double tank in a team is really good. All right, we're going to do like a couple more just with female warriors. And then I'm gonna probably going to, uh, you know, cut it out. But basically, tips and tricks. I kind of covered them very, very generally as we played, as we did this stream. So you guys review it, see what I have to say. I definitely play better after I've warmed up. <laughs> so that's that. I I, I I noticed that about myself. Also, we have a per, we have a red unit to deal with. Okay, okay. I'm thinking, do I want 21 in here or I just want to go the the full? No, 
No, they got the red Goku. I should go good 21. I should. Okay. Sad, but I'll do it. I'll do it. Wanted to bring Kafka. I'm going to search up how to double buff characters without Zenkai. How to double buff characters without Zenkais? Yeah, that's... You can use double buff Z abilities, but otherwise you can't really do that. You definitely need a Zenkai for that. Free to play. Same. This account is free to play. You're no match for me. Oh, you didn't sidestep fast enough. You didn't sidestep fast enough. I feel duped. I feel duped. Why would you do that to me? Sidestep. Good job. Here, take my blue. Thank you. No, I didn't mean to. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go into this one. Okay. 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 Ew! No, don't do that, Vados. That's gross. Oh, thanks. Freebie. Freebie. <laughs> Going to the red, yep, makes sense. Okay, makes sense. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Rising rush. Yeah, we'll let her. We'll let her go. <clears throat> I need to use my uh, blue twenty one anyways. Uh, no, he didn't use two vanish. Uh, Plenty dear Moro, only on my main account, not on this account. No, only on my main account. This is not my main account. This is my alt account, aka Emily's account. Well. Thanks. All right. Goodbye, UI. Goodbye. Good job. Beautiful. Love it. All right. We're going to go into this one. Ah, we're lagging. Beautiful. Best Zankai is LF Gohan. <clears throat> LF Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is still, to this day, the best LF in the entire game. Oh, nice. Except this is the AI, so it doesn't even matter. It really doesn't even matter, because it's the AI. Yeah. Nice. I should have just drifted. Why did my opponent do what they did and just, like, leave the game, pretty much? I, I couldn't tell you. All I can say is that this is the end of the fight. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> Yo, sounds good, Axo. Welcome back, my dude. Also, uh, Kachoro Otista, hello, hello, how you doing? Yo, Danger Man, yes, I see you, how you doing? I think we're just gonna get Emily to battle rank 40. And then be done with that. Leave it at that, you know? 
that's it. I really want to use launch, but I've never actually came into a situation, rarely came into situations where launch is actually needed. Although, I could mess around and play launch in this fight. Ah, I like that idea. I really do. Interesting. I'm going to bring in launch. We're going to bring in Kafla. We're going to bring in launch. And then, because it's important to bring in the waifu, we'll bring in 18. What do you think, oh, which character would be coming on the 1,000 Day Celebration? Shu, I'm not sure. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even tell you. I'm not even going to... Gander a guess. I'm fantastic, Danger Man. I'm thinking about... I'm fantastic so far. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a character, but a banner is probably going to come out. I mean, with the mystery tickets. I know that they're definitely uh, doing the mystery tickets sometime this February, so just keep in mind. Just watch out. <laughs> yeah, her Z ability, I mean, her Z ability is not horrible. Because don't forget, she does buff Dragon Ball Saga. But that just basically means that in order for her to be good, we need better Dragon Ball Saga characters. That's the biggest problem. So I'm hoping females can go a Dragon Ball Saga route, right? If they can do that, it would definitely increase the overall potency of... <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Of uh, females and just Dragon Ball Saga characters in general. Alright, healing up. That's fine, that's fine. You sidestepped. So I'm just going to... Uh... Okay. Did I do something? Yes, you did launch. You made them forfeit. Good job, launch. <laughs> LF Rochi when <laughs> Rochi when. There are females that have Dragon Ball Saga. Exactly, but the problem is they're just not as good anymore, right? If they were better, then in that case, yeah, you could run a team with them. And you could run a better team with them. But launch on her own to buff them is not enough. You need you definitely need A launch at probably at that point 14 stars. And then B. You need the others at 14 stars. And then C, they need at least something else to, like, just revamp them. To make them better than what they are. It's your birthday this month? Yo, random gamer. Happy early birthday, then. Also, we're going to be dealing with, uh, future. Future team. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. We're dealing with the future team. It's only one way to go about this. Realistically. Only one way. No other way is possible. Deal with the Goku Black. If you see Future and you see Goku Black, bring in a purple. Don't even worry about Future Gohan. <laughs> Don't worry about him. You need to deal with that 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 Goku Black. But Launch is a good unit. Um, can I say she is in the top 10 best red units in the game currently? She has potential. But the problem with saying that she is, is that we cannot just look at units standalone. If we were talking about standalone units, no synergy, nothing else but just their kits, what, what unit they are, and what tags they're part of, then yes, she's a top 10 unit. But when we look at like the team she's on, and just how represented she is when you play at higher events and higher levels, she's not there. So it's just hard to say that she would be a top 10 unit. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. You made my life easy. We'll just keep going. Thank you. Goodbye. That's a sidestep. Don't sidestep on me, Sonny. Don't sidestep. Let's go, Rising Rush! And Blue. Bye-bye, Goku Black. It's laggy right now, but it's okay. As in, like, the, the glitchiness is happening. But it's not laggy, it's just glitchy. Oh, okay. 
Okay. And then we're gonna reduce their key just just a little bit. Just you know, give them the keys. And then we're gonna transform. Really? You're gonna go straight into me? You're not even gonna wait? Okay. Gonna punch you out then. Easy. That's a sidestep. Don't sidestep on me, Sonny. Let's get them with that ult. That's another 18 screenshot for a forfeit. She's really dubstepping on them. <clears throat> so Shu, one thing that I've noticed like a uh, higher ladder player has been doing, they've been playing the, the, uh, the, the, the God coup that you just saw here, right? There's two ways that people play God key. They'll either just put in the old red god uh, Goku for the critical and the health buff. Or they'll bring in the future uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku for some reason. Just because he's a good unit, just in general. And no, for no other reason. Like, he won't buff the rest of the team, but he'll be buffed. I've seen that also. So just keep in mind, because I've been looking a lot at like the top 100 players in the, in the ranked ladder. And they do that a lot. Now, in like a tournament or in a competitive environment that is outside of the ladder, please don't do that. That's a very bad idea. Trust me. <laughs> but in a ladder where in a format where it's a best of one and you will most likely almost never see that opponent again, that's fine. You can actually get away with wonky teams. So just pointing that out there. All right, and then we got BTN that says, Yo, Saitama, what's up? Been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. How you doing? All righty. Oh, I'm still working on my female warrior team on my main account. It's not as stacked as this. This is actually stacked in comparison. I don't have launch, first off, on my main account. Um, everyone else is the same in terms of stars, except for the evil 20, I mean the good 21. My good 21 is only three stars. But luckily I'll be doing a, wait, that's a, that's a bot. Really? Ah. Uh, uh, okay. So then in that case, we'll just do that. It's a bot. Well, uh, for Car Cardinal, no, it's okay. Don't worry about your English. Your English is really good, by the way. Your English is good, so don't don't worry about that. But uh, because of just try to surpass me, because it's already been done. There's, it it won't matter what event like because of the event, what character's coming out, whatever it comes out with, it will be something outside of that. Okay, so what I really like about launch... Well, first off, I'm going to do that because I see that tackle. If I wanted to go green, I could just do that. And I could have just gone right through the, the lock, which is fan phenomenal, actually. I'm going to punch him out. And that's going to be a perfect, like, not a perfect vanish, but it's just enough that it's going to work. And that's a, oh, wow, I messed that up. Cha-cha-cha. Thank you. There. Oh. Well, we're going to just continue. It's like nothing ever happened. Give him the big suck. Bye bye. Have I become stronger? Well, the nice thing is they're gonna bring the Zenkai 21 back eventually. So you guys, don't worry about it. If you don't finish her off now, you can get her later. And now my partner is Battle Rank 40. So the reason why we go to Battle Rank 40, let's take a look at the rewards. At Battle Rank 40, you get one of this. Very important, actually. 
Because this is what you want every single season. This is how you're going to upgrade your team. Can't do that outside of this. Another thing. There's no point to go to 50 because it's the same reward. The only thing that's different is you get two more of this. That's it. That's pretty much all you get. That's the only thing that why you'd go to 50. If you are going... If you are trying to do more and you want two of the 100s, you have to play and be within the top 10,000 in order to get an extra one for 200. You have to. Otherwise, you only get one. So if you're going to, if you only plan to do, so if, uh, if you plan to get both, you have to be willing to work up your and maintain top 10, 10K. Otherwise, you don't get that stuff. You only get stuff like Chrono Crystals if you're, in the, you know, top 20 or top 15, blah, blah, blah. It, it's fine if you want to do that too. But if you're just looking for, like, 100 Z power and that's it, stop at 40. No need to go any further. So you just keep that in mind. You're right. It won't come again soon, Shu. But what it will is it will come back. Because, I mean, this is the second time it's been here. As the first time it's been here in this form. So, what I would definitely say is, realistically, if they're not maining female warriors, if they're not maining regen or androids, that unit doesn't actually matter to them. It's only if you're maining one of those three teams that you actually care. So, just keep that in mind, guys. <clears throat> All right. All right, so... I have a personal grudge against blue future future units. Yeah, no, seriously, I I, I understand that. But yeah, uh, I've been taking it very chill when it comes to Dragon Ball Legends recently, just because it's simpler that way for me. Just simpler. Trunks came three times too. Actually, Maxi, I think he's come more. He's come four times, and I the one-off time where he came back, most people don't even remember, but he came back. Okay, so he came back when he came the first time. We got him to uh, to either four or six originally. Then after that, he came again, but that time we got him to six. Then he came as a co-op where you could get him to a Z seven. No, then he came again. So five times. Trunks has come back to us five times. Five times this Trunks has showed up, but only twice has he shown up. Uh, yeah. Twice he's shown up to be a um, uh, Z7. So like as a, a Zenkai unit. Yo, Trippy, awesome. Either way, that's pretty much what I wanted to show. That's pretty much it. Co-op is very simple. Just make sure you're moving your teammate out of the way if they're dying. Make sure that you can you uh, move them out of the way, especially if they're about to get Rising Rushed and then dodge. Make sure that if they're the ones getting Rising Rushed, you pick Blast, they'll pick Strike. Or vice versa. If you're getting Rising Rush, hopefully the uh, your teammate has the etiquette to pick Blast for you while you pick Strike. Uh, so yeah, th th just general tips in general. Um, single tap punches are important. So guys, if you don't know how to do that, just basically do one tap on the screen. See if they, it connects. If it doesn't, you'll be able to dodge. If it does, just finish off the tap to reset it back to neutral in PvP. That's one of the greatest skills you can have in PvP at this moment. And then Vegeta Blue can now get four Zenkai buff. That's the most ridiculous thing. Surprisingly, Shu, it's still not enough to break him out of tier one because it's just not an optimal team. Quite frankly, it's just not optimal, right? If it were an optimal team, if Vegeta Blue was still like the Z tier he was during Anniversary, then yes, that would have been scary. But we now have a, so many good green units to keep him in check. But that's just not a good team to bring. E e trippy. Less than 300, actually. Crazy enough. Uh, it's actually insane. But anyways, I think that's it for today. I'll be releasing a video later today, guys. So for uh, Z Power Level Guide. So keep that in mind. Uh, once again, this was the free-to-play uh, account. This was the free-to-play account. And I know it doesn't look free to play, but no money has been spent on this team. And no money has been spent on any of the teams on this on this account. 
So just keep, just remember, when you want to play PvP well, make sure to focus only really on two teams. And teams that share a lot of tags between each other. And then this game becomes a lot easier and a lot more free-to-play friendly for you guys and for anyone else. If you're only for into, into like collecting units, then don't worry about Zenkai's, don't worry about any of that stuff. Just don't be upset when PvP is a nightmare. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, I'm going to sign out right now but hope you guys had a fantastic time i sure did it was nice to come back i'll be back on wednesday i'll still be here for a little bit um i don't know when i'm going back to twitch i'm gonna st stay on youtube for a while now and just you know stream here make my videos here and if you guys are wondering how often i upload i upload whenever there's some relevant content or when there's a guide that i need to make otherwise i try to keep my upload schedule to a minimum but I will be making a ton of videos for you guys, like in the backlogs that I'm currently doing. I have actually already five videos that I'm currently making. And uh, I think they're going to be a lot of fun. And I think a lot of you will enjoy them because they're just very factual based. So there's a lot to learn from it. So I think that's of good value for all of you. But they're not done yet, so I'm not posting them, obviously. So once they're done, you'll see. And then we'll see how it goes if you guys really receive them well. And I'll make more, tons more, because I think it's going to be very interesting and exciting. And yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, no no problem, Shu. Uh, Zenka Green Bully defense is great. Yes. Uh, how does double buff work? So double buffing, just very quickly before I sign off. Very simple. Double buffing. If we're talking about like a double buff Z ability, or even triple buff. So, for example, uh, Android 21. Just her Z ability in general is she gives strike defense to regeneration androids. And she also gives and, and like. And then 15% to strike attack to girls, to android, uh, to um, the female warriors. So if they're both androids and girls or female warriors or regen, they'll get both. However, that's not the greatest example. Actually, a better example of that. So sorry, let me actually get you guys a better example of that because that was just the worst example possible. Better example of that would be, let's say, this Gogeta. Gogeta's uh, buff at three stars is amazing. 25% to fusion base strike, and then fusion... Uh, wait, no, even he's a bad example. God darn it. <laughs> Vegito. I just want a simple one. Yeah, base strike, attack, and defense. Double buff. There you go. If you're referring to Zenkai buffs, I can explain that too very quickly before I go. For Zenkai buffs... Uh, what you really want to focus on is, okay, let's let's take a look at 18, all right? So let's say we're talking about her Zen Zenkai ability. Basically, you want yellow and android. So if there was another yellow Zenkai android unit, then you could also put that on the team and then pick one more yellow android unit, and then they would be double buffed by both Zenkai abilities. That would be how a double buffing works for Zenkais. So anyways, yeah, my Twitch account, yeah, the Saitama Project, yes. Anyways, that is just how double buffing works for Zenkais. The more Zenkais you have that fulfill the same requirements, so they would also have to fulfill, in the case of Yellow and Android, the other Zenkai has to fulfill Yellow and Android, and then you need a Yellow Android that gets double buffed by both Zenkais. Otherwise, we're just referring to, like, base strike, attack, and defense, blah, blah, blah. Okay? That sort of thing. And that would be a double buff on its own, right? Anyways, guys, that's the end of the stream. I'm going to head out now. I'll make a video, guys, for you guys today, and I will see you later. Stay salty out there, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for those of you that show up.